Crap! Damn! Ah, damn it! Ah, man. Well, that's okay. I gotta do the laundry today anyways, I guess. What's going on, y'all? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yench, and thank you for tuning back into yet another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jonathan, and I have been living full-time in my renovated truck camper for the last... Well, not that long yet, to be honest, but already one of the most reoccurring questions that I get is how do I do my laundry? And really the answer is simple. I go to the laundromat. Just like many of you apartment dwelling folks out there, I rely on the laundromat to get my dirty clothes washed. Now I know it's a little bit anticlimactic for some of you guys out there. I know there's probably people who like imagine me going down to the river with a bucket and a washboard and scrubbing my dirty clothes like the pilgrims did, but that's just not the reality of it. There are, however, a couple things that we do want to take into consideration when talking about doing your laundry while living on the road. The first of which is going to be storage. Now, it is extremely important where you store your clothes until it is time to go to the laundromat. You don't want to just take off all of your dirty clothes and throw them onto the ground and fling them around your vehicle because not only are you risking losing something or maybe not getting something washed when it needs to get washed, it's also gonna weigh on your mind consciously or subconsciously all the extra clutter that's gonna be lying around. It's really just gonna take away from your experience of being on the road. So you definitely wanna have a designated spot to store all of your dirty clothes until it is time to get them washed. As you guys saw earlier, this closet is where I keep my dirty laundry bag. Since it's behind a closed door, not only is it out of sight, but it also kind of prevents some of the potentially unwanted odors from my dirty clothes from drifting into the living room. So this is really just a great spot for my dirty laundry to go. The second consideration we're gonna want to take into account is laundry detergent. Traditional liquid laundry detergent comes in those big bulky plastic containers that are not only inconvenient to store, but there's also always the risk of spilling them all over your other stuff, which would just be a complete nightmare. A great alternative that I found are these laundry detergent eco sheets made by Earth Breeze. This company reached out to me a little while ago saying, we know you're gonna be living in your camper soon and we have a product that we think you'll greatly benefit from. As somebody who lives in a vehicle where storage space is extremely limited, these are super convenient because they take up pretty much no space at all. I literally just tuck them in the pocket behind my passenger seat and forget all about them. Not only do they take up little to no space at all, but they also completely eliminate the risk of spilling liquid detergent on all of my other stuff. This is also an extremely environmentally conscious product with completely waste-free packaging being recyclable and biodegradable. And the strips themselves are completely free of phosphates, parabens, chlorines, bleaches, and any other of that crap that we don't want on our skins. The strips are also super affordable, coming in at only about like 20 cents per load, I think it comes out to. So overall, these are just a great option if you're going to be living in a vehicle. Now we're actually gonna take these into the laundromat here and I'm going to show you just how easy they are to use.
and there you have it folks that covers just about everything that has to do with laundry while living in a truck camper as you saw it's really simple i go to the laundromat i use efficient laundry detergent and that's it once again thanks to the folks over at earth breeze make sure to check them out if you're interested and also stay tuned because another couple of the questions that i get all the time are where do i go to the bathroom and how do I keep clean? So I will make a video in the near future addressing these questions as well. But for now, thank you guys, like always, for watching. Go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill already. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.